Another question, please. Thanks. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for this conversation. Um, my name it's is It's a Sarah. debate. Debate, yes. We'll, we'll certainly acknowledge that. We um, insist on that. <laughs> Um, I handle criminal justice policy for a group called the R Street Institute, and I have a question to follow up on um, Toy's opening statement, which is the reality is we have a dual legality issue between a Schedule One substance at the federal level and 38 or more states that have some legal form of cannabis. I'm wondering if both sides can speak to what the practical policy solution is there, whether you oppose legalization, what do you actually do about that dichotomy, and how do you address it? Let me go to Paul first, because he hasn't had a yeah. turn. Yeah, this, the current situation is quite chaotic, and the only one that can resolve it is Congress. Congress doesn't want to do it. Congress wants to hope that this cup will pass from them. But sadly, they're going to have to because you can't continue to go on in, this, in the status that we have today. But the only way to resolve it is at the federal level because the states can't tell the federal government what to do, but the federal government can make it a crime regardless of what the states want. So they have to decide whether they want to uh, revise federal law, and we, they need to do it. Kat, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't disagree with that. I do think that Congress has an opportunity and responsibility to address reform. I think that we need to think holistically about what the respective roles are between the state and federal government. I think that this is area of law where the states have taken the lead and continue to take the lead. I don't think I've seen anything from the federal government that evidences to me that they are prepared uh, to act in a meaningful way. So I think right now what we need the federal government to be doing is listening to states. Uh, and learning from their experiences, and hopefully that will move uh, Congress forward on this issue. Uh, but I don't think that we're uh, in a place where this particular status is sustainable. I do think that we need uh, reform. Uh, I don't think that we're necessarily going to get it through uh, the Biden administration's review of how cannabis is, is scheduled. Uh, but I still expect leadership from the Biden administration and from Congress. And even short of descheduling, there are a whole host of actions that the administration can take uh, to lessen the harms of our current policy.